I make you a presenter, Selman. And um, yeah, with this, I hand over to um, our first talk um, from uh, Selman. Uh, he was doing um, this work completely remote, as I was informed. Um, so really much fits the, uh, the topic of this conference as well, to work from home. And um, so it's an open source implementation of the ECSS POS service, packet utilization service, which is used uh, all over in, in ESA to control the satellite, so to send commands and to receive telemetry. So I don't know if many of you are familiar with this PUS service, but if you would talk to anyone working at, at ESA, that's like the, the, the daily language, yeah? Um, so, and he implemented this uh, using the Rust language that personally I'm not so familiar with, and I'm looking forward that you, Selman, convince us of uh, switching to Rust and uh, dropping Python and C and whatever language. Uh, okay, I'm, so over to you. Uh, I, I was convinced uh, when I uh, finished the project, uh, not finished, uh, finished working on this project for the summer. Uh, is this uh, slide, the updated slide I sent you, uh, Arthur? Uh, because I updated the slides. So. Yes, this is the updated slide. OK, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome. Uh, this is the, uh, an open source implementation of ECSS PS services in Rust. Uh, here, uh, 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 here, I will just explain every term uh, briefly. Uh, we will talk about uh, a system programming language called Rust, ECSS PS, which is a standard, and open source ECSS PS implementation in Rust, which is called which we call Prost, and Prost use cases in VST 104, uh, which was where the where Prost was deployed first. Uh, about PUSC, uh, ECSS is a cooperative effort for the purpose of developing and maintaining common standards. Uh, its recent iteration PUSC was published in 2016, and it's relatively new. Uh, Prost satisfies some of the source requirements of PUSC, and PUSC is the standard of choice by, by ESA and only one uh, spacecraft operated by ESA doesn't use PUS. Mm. Here's the uh, VST 104 uh, I was talking about. Uh, this board hosts a single red on onboard computer designed to fulfill the space industry requirements. Uh, the main processing unit is uh, SM32L496 uh, and 96 microprocessor and runs this runs the processor software. Uh, will be presented tomorrow by my uh, co-author Philip Gabe uh, in the title of an open source onboard computer platform for CubeSats. Uh, here, let's talk about the Rust language. Uh, it's a pro programming language focused on performance, safety, uh, and especially safe concurrency. Uh, Rust provi provides sa uh, memory safety without using garbage collection, but instead through uh, the use of power chicken system. Uh, and it was choose the most low uh, programming language uh, in Stack Overflow uh, survey every year since 2016. And uh, I can say I, I was one of them. Uh, here, why Rust? Uh, C remained the only alternative for a long time uh, in embed programming uh, because it was faster than other languages. Uh, but Rust offered a cost-free way of ensuring memory safety. Uh, and it also offered usage of high-level programming features with system level performance. Uh, I could talk about Rust for hours, but I have to keep it short because I have 12 minutes. Uh, then here is uh, Prosty. Uh, uh, it's a software implemented with Rust language, as I said. Uh, it complies to PSC. It was tested on VST 104, and it aims to be reliable, fast, and maintenance cost efficient. Uh, PSC packets uh, in Rust, uh, it implements the data structures to send, receive, and interpret PSC space packets. Uh, has servers one, three, and eight data structures in it from PSC. Uh, and their definitions are on the next slide. And it's basically a representation of PSC packets in Rust. Uh, here are the definitions. Uh, there's service eight. It has one record and executes the function defined by the user by giving the name of the function. Uh, here's a uh, request verification. 
uh, it has nine responses, uh, and each one of them indicates different states. For example, failure, success. Uh, there is housekeeping. Uh, it has plenty of TM and TZ packets. Uh, it helps uh, to report the firewall connected to the devices, uh, and it was uh, partially implemented by myself. Uh, it wasn't fully implemented. Uh, here is the hierarchical hierarchical uh, data structure of uh, Prost, uh, uh, the telemetry and telecom packets, uh, which are um, uh, abstracted well, in my opinion, uh, and are compliant to previous standards. Um, so, okay. Uh, uh, the test case, uh, the setup, uh, I use Board Zero, uh, Board Zero, uh, which Philip will talk tomorrow, and a programmer to deploy uh, the process software. Uh, here's a general overview uh, uh, of what our goal is. Here we have mission control, and we have our onboard computer. Uh, from mission control, we will send telecommands, and we will send responses from onboard computer. Uh, which we call telemetry. Uh, example use case for uh, SARS-1 and 8. Uh, for example, on first step, uh, let, let's say uh, we say uh, by sending TC81, we say execute function terminate from function errors file with argument true. Uh, this function errors file uh, has a function table which is defined by the user and it is so easy to add a new function. Uh, and you can see here, some of the functions and we indicate one of them uh, in this packet. And for, on the second step, uh, we will evaluate the packet uh, and we will get the a function from the function table and execute and, and uh, report the uh, uh, return value or uh, how it went, how the execution went as a t telemetry uh, as TM17, uh, which is service one's uh, specification. Mm -hmm. So another uh, use case is housekeeping. Uh, for example, let's say we uh, we have these parameters uh, we can observe, monitor. Uh, we have the structures and else and it's empty. Uh, we by TC three uh, one uh, comment we we can mean for example create a structure of parameters which include number one and two. Uh, and set the structure ID to zero. Uh, we want to create a structure here with parameters one and two, and then we will evaluate this packet and create this structure here, and also respond about how this execution went. And here you can see the structure is created. Uh, and after that, uh, okay, the structure is created, but we have we want to monitor it uh, periodically. Then uh, we will send a comment uh, to. Uh, which indicates, for, we can send a command which indicates uh, enable periodic co collection of structure ID zero and report it periodically and uh, it will evaluate it and it will enable the timer and it, it will also look at the stru structures list uh, and it will report periodically uh, the values uh, in these parameters. And there are some next steps. Uh, for PROS because it's an ongoing uh, project. Uh, here's what we can do. We can uh, check by API D with flash and FRAM device types and U UID uh, read temperature from onboard sensors uh, set the clock speed at new test cases for each new feature. And uh, also we, we should uh, look into ROS based RTOS, RTOS uh, for embedded developing mm -hmm. and uh, we should propose and implement the migration of existing code onto RTOS kernel. Uh, if you are interested in contributing uh, or any suggestions, uh, you can uh, email Jose uh, by this mail, and you can check out the repository here from GitHub. And if you have any questions, uh, make sure you ask about anything. Thank you. Okay, great. So you even finished before this 12 minutes. <laughs>
And in fact, you took eight and a half. So that leaves more time for discussion. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, yeah, your co-authors uh, are Jose Feterinia and Philip Gaib, who will be there tomorrow. And Jose is here. Um, and in mean, before we start with the uh, questioning, I also like to uh, introduce uh, Nicoletta, who is not uh, here. She was uh, supposed to be the runner, but unfortunately, she could not. Um, so, like, uh, luckily, Fernando joined, and uh, he is going to support me in the session. Yeah. All right. Sorry, Arthur. I'm monitoring also uh, the the YouTube channel in case there is any question. I will I will let you know, Arthur. Okay. Okay. Very good. Maybe um, someone already has a question. Um, you can write this here in the chat. Uh, you can also write some feedback. Yes, if you don't mind. Uh, am I unmuted? Yes. Oh, hello. Uh, my name is Kirill. Sorry, I don't have a web camera. Uh, so um, I work with uh, guys on a Tutsat project. Maybe you heard about it. And we are uh, implementing the PUS, um, the library which also uh, does the PUS standard in C. And so um, at some point we came to a, a question about how we want to verify what we are doing. Basically, we also uh, and content decode the packets in um, several. Um, several service types, but uh, like how how do we test that what we are doing will be properly received, you know, on the ground station. And at some point we came to a discussion when we thought, hey, maybe we contact some other project like, you know, your project, and uh, we try to somehow uh, establish this test case in which we try to send packets from our library and try to decode them in your library and backwards so that we you know use it as our test framework how do you feel about it um okay maybe i can also say something here so um for first question you said to you darmstadt right uh, yes yes darmstadt okay. so you, we also we also gave you a VST one hundred four um, board, right? Are you are you developing on that board? Uh, not right now. Okay. So no, not me personally. Maybe my colleagues are here who can tell more. Okay. So what I can say is, if you develop on that board, uh, Selman, uh, he, he didn't put it in the presentation, but he did actually. Um, uh, uh, like I say, a, a mini test tool, which we can, which you can like send commands. So you have a command line, and it's like a, sh a shell to, to access the the satellite. And uh, I mean, it works over UART, and you can basically send some commands. So in principle, um, if if you use our tool, you should get the same behaviors if uh, both implementations do exactly the same. Uh, so this could be a start point. I'm not sure if someone wants to add something. Um, uh, no. All right, this sounds actually good. Um, guys, if if you are here from Tutsat, um, Tutsat, do we have this board? I'm sure you have because we yeah. <laughs> donated one. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's just that he's not in Darmstadt. That's uh, yeah, <laughs> working remotely also. This year is everything remote. That's uh, currently the problem. But maybe we can set up a, a web client so he can access it over the internet. OK. All right, all right. Nice, we will figure it out. Thanks. OK, Arthur, we have uh, a few questions from YouTube. I have to visit them in, in the, the chat of the VVV. Yeah, yeah, please, please raise those. Yes. So Paul Madel is asking is is there an open source RTOs targeting Rust? And a second question from him is if there is an open source five systems implemented in Rust. 
Um, I mean, someone, if you want to say something, you can join in. Uh, okay, uh, I sent some links. Uh, oh, I think they were from YouTube. Uh, there's drone OS and also OS sent me and thesis file. Uh, uh, I think it was uh, other uh, RTOS targeting us. Uh, so uh, I've sent some links there. Uh, Paul can uh, look them up. And the question uh, is there open, sorry, uh, how do are there libraries uh, available in Prost? Uh, yeah, there is a uh, module, uh, for example, uh, for the PUS data structures. Uh, uh, they are modular, modularized uh, role, and you can check, have a look at it from GitHub. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also there is a last question from Paul Mader that it says that if does PRAS support lower level protocols, for example, CCDS, CCSDS, type KM, TSC? I mean, I don't really understand the question. I mean, you you can send commands and you prevent you can receive telemetry. Uh, all four services, one, three, and eight, uh, like someone presented. So you have housekeeping telemetry, you have command verification, and you can execute any random function on board. So we thought that this was, would be the basics when to show that you can uh, you know, get started. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a question. Did you present this to uh, any either people or space industry people to see what they think about this because last time when I talked about a bigger aeros aerospace company about using Python on a satellite they were like oh, no way I mean uh, they're not even using C++ because they cannot fully code test it so uh, uh, how about rust uh, is this a yeah, different well, is more low level than testable I, I, I wanted to so if you can say something afterwards but I wanted to say something here so it's not just like, I liked what someone put there, it's been the most loved uh, language on Stack Overflow. Uh, but it's also language which has been used, it's being used increasingly on the Linux kernel. So it's it's like, uh, it's it's growing. It's, and uh, one of the reasons why it's growing is because uh, when someone was doing the tools, at some point I really said something which I found super interesting. He said, it took me hours to get it to compile, but when it finally compiled, it just worked. And that's normally the case with Rust. That was his words, I'm just quoting him. But I, I really like it because it, it kind of forces you to detail all of the things of the problem. You cannot just say, I want to convert a chart to an int and then uh, and, and it works. You have to justify your thing very well or you have to you know, use the unsafe flag and then you have to really know what you're doing. So if you try to follow the rest way, it takes a long time to compile and then it works. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I just wanted to, to add that because it was my... Yeah. my input from you yeah that was uh really the case uh, ross just um, uh, enforces uh, for you to just not to uh do on do stupid things for like uh, uh forgetting some pointers somewhere uh, or using some null values it, it just uh enforces uh by in its compile time uh Features, yeah. So I will not be able to do stupid things. Ah, oh, too bad. So it sounds like debugging before actually the program is running. Good, interesting, very interesting. Um, and um, yeah.